Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another mildly entertaining episode of The Dead Linger, Alpha Build 009C. As you know, last time I died a horrible, gruesome death. Um, I died from exposure to the virus, bacteria, herpes, whatever it is, I don't know. Whatever kills you, whatever creates the zombies. And now I'm outside this uh, lovely prison. And it certainly appears like there's a lot of zombies that are waiting for me. But anyways, somebody in the comments said that there is a security office or some sort of room inside the prison that has gear in it, so I'm gonna head back in there. Jesus, there's a lot of fucking zombies. And I'm gonna take another look real quick just to see if I missed anything. I did only go in one side of the prison. I assumed they were just mirror images of each other, but I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. I don't know. That's why we're going back. But with the sheer amount of zombies outside, I have a feeling that it may end in the same way the last video ended with me, you know, collapsing on the floor, dead from the virus. So, we'll see. I guess there's always the off chance that I could live. Very off chance. <laughs> I wonder if I can destroy that boulder. Certainly making the sounds it makes when uh, I hit doors. Either way, somebody needs to take that rock out of the road. Seems the Department of Transportation has gotten lazy. But yeah. For those of you that don't remember the last video, there was nothing in the towers. There was a book and maybe a banana. Very disappointing to say the least. So last time I went over in this section of the complex. So I guess this time I'll go over here, see if it's any different. And if I can't find anything on this side, I'll go back to the other one and see if there's anything I missed real quick. Sorry if my voice sounds a little weird. I woke up about five minutes ago. You know how it goes when you go and try and speak immediately after getting up. Alrighty. We are just going to move around and open the doors one at a time. And it appears like I might have crashed. Oh, nope, it came back. Hooray for that. But I did almost crash. And certainly doesn't look like there's anything in this room. Pretty sure I didn't miss anything walking through here. So we'll leave that door open just as a uh, reminder that we've already been through it. Wow. Offices, library, I don't know. Certainly a lot of books and desks. I don't remember seeing this room in the uh, last section, so... Hey, maybe this is it. Although it certainly doesn't appear like it is. Well, I guess that's that. Let's check this center thing real quick. Oh, nothing. Ah, jackpot. A big fucking jackpot. Looks like that's enough 22 ammo to keep me going for a long time. Look at all this. Looks like we've got about half a dozen pistols on the ground there. 
lucky for me, I have the, uh, the huge duffel bag to carry all this shit. I'd be really disappointed if I couldn't take it all home. Oh, and it looks like I'm disconnecting this time from solo mode. Well, once I can reconnect, I'll get back up and continue the episode. Alpha. I'll be back. Alright, well, I'm back. I actually got back one time previously to this, but I accidentally opened the console, and, uh, wow. Alright, well, I personally haven't had issues like this with disconnecting from single player for a, uh, for a while. Not since the very earliest of builds. So, I'm going to end this video, I guess, and try to fix the problem. If the problem can be solved, uh, I'll upload an another half of the video of me exploring the rest of the prison. If not, then I, I guess I'll hop on the forums and see if this is an issue for everybody. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed what little of this video there was, and I hope to continue it later today. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. This has been the Deadlinger Alpha Build 009C, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. My name is Skitter, and I'm out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to try this again. We're going to see if I can actually get the game to stay connected. Uh, obviously, you can see that I found quite a bit of, uh, of gear. Ooh, I wonder if this is a 44. Apparently it doesn't want me to pick up all these uh, guns. Oh, that's right. Disconnect me. All right, fine. Fuck. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to give this one more quick try before I give up on making a video for the day. So far, I've had no luck. It seems like whenever I play solo, I get disconnected. Whenever I try to play uh, multiplayer, it doesn't work. can't connect to any servers, so... It looks right now that I'm able to play. I'm able to at least pick stuff up, which is better than usual, I guess. <laughs> As you can see where I left off in the last video, I fell into quite a few weapons. I think I'm actually going to exchange my rifle out for the pistol. Just because I can hold more ammo. Or I should. Since the rifle only holds one shot. Although it does certainly appear like every time I reload, it reloads everything in the gun with, without regard for what's already in it, so... So maybe I will just <laughs> stick to the sword. Nope. Is this another one of these rooms? Must be. Maybe I just ran into the same one, I don't know. We'll find out. I gotta keep moving around. Just to see if we can find the, uh... Armory. Although the room I just came to had enough ammo for a long while. But we'll see. Maybe this is where I want to be. Or maybe this is solitary. So far... I haven't found the armory that people are saying is here, so... Since this is very obviously solitary confinement, I guess I will move on. You know, the issue with getting disconnected in single player... Now it's another solitary. You know, I don't know if it has something to do with, like, us having to authenticate our usernames and passwords to their server, 
or what, but that is a big deal if you cannot play this game, you know, without having to be connected to the server. Well, I guess I found the weapons I wanted to find, so... Seems like a good time to go ahead and leave this place behind. See if I can find a town nearby. Looks like I've got quite the arsenal for now, as long as I don't have the uh, backpack glitch and lose it one of these times I log in. You know, I think I'm gonna run to the top of this mountain. Oh, maybe not. Looks like there might be a city over there. We'll head that way then. Wow. <laughs> you gotta love how many of them mass together. I can only hope I've got a lot of daylight left. The sun must be over there, so... Probably going down. Yeah, let me guys know. Let me know if you guys have the same issue with the game just disconnecting like crazy in single player. That'd be something I something I'd really be interested in knowing if it's just me or if or if it's everybody. I know it used to be a big problem back in the first couple builds, but I had hoped that they would have had all that kind of stuff cleared up by now. But who knows? It's all but been confirmed by the devs themselves that we're going to the Unity engine for the uh, either the next update, 10 or 11. So we'll see. You know, it's usually quite a while in between big patches, so I wouldn't hope for that to come out for at least another I'd have to guess probably three to four weeks. Maybe a little less, I don't know. It all just depends. I don't know how easy it is to port something from Ogre into Unity. Or I don't know about any of that stuff, but hopefully it's a quick process. And hopefully it doesn't break the game for several weeks. Looks like this is going to be a good sized town. Just, wow. So that they just go on forever. Oh great, yeah the sun's going down. Not good! Alright, we'll I'll make it to the city and then I'll start from there. Don't want to bore you with all the walking. Alright, so it looks like I made it to the town. There's a lot of friendly faces around. As you can see. Clear this place out and see what's what. Oh, they're already breaking in. Come on. Stand up. Stand up. There we go, and got one climbing through the door, and apparently running off. Oh, and there's even some wood here. 